because the kinescope or the teletranscription recording, when you took that film that had been made and put it back on the system, you know, you, you start with, I believe the television system has 625 lines definition. And the definition would deteriorate when you filmed off the face of the tube. Then when you took that kinescope recording and put it back in a television system, it would deteriorate even more. So that the 625 lines that you started with were probably down to uh, 300 lines, half the definition of what you started with. So it, it, the kinescope uh, use for delayed broadcasts around the country uh, continually got complaints because of the quality was so deteriorated. As a matter of fact, Groucho Marx had a great line about this. He said, a kinescope recording, he said, Kin means relative, a scope means recognized. You can't recognize your own relatives on a kinescope. So that, uh, our stations complaining and they would drop shows because the kinescope quality was so bad by the time it got to the homes that they were covering. So we figured how can we f get good quality out of film of television shows. And one of the engineers at Dumont in New Jersey, well, I guess it was with Tom Goldsmith, created the thing called the electronic cam. And the electronic cam was a television camera mounted on a pedestal with a BNC Mitchell 35 millimeter film camera mounted next to it on the same pedestal feeding through a common lens system which would film a television show a place on a, a television show on film as it was being shot by television cameras. So we would have a 35 millimeter quality film of a television show. And the first show that used this system was The Honeymooners. I sold the idea to Jackie Gleason. He loved it. He said, we'll do it. We'll do The Honeymooners on this for syndication. And sure enough, we did it. But there, was, there were a couple of big problems that we faced as a result of it. In New York, there are two unions that cover live television, the cameraman and the stagehands. Then there are two unions that cover film, the making of, of motion pictures, the stagehands and the cameraman. So there are four unions involved in the making of film through the electronic cam. And they all wanted jurisdiction over their area. There was a guy by the name of Walsh who was head of the IA in New York, and nationally. Uh, I've forgotten his first name. I think it was John Walsh. I've forgotten. Anyway, I went to see him when we ran into this union problem. And I walked into his office to lay it out for him. He said, I know what you're going to say. I'm not going to get in the middle of this. I'm not going to say which unions have jurisdiction over your electronic cam. That's your problem. Well, we ended up in shooting the Honeymooners. We had two complete crews, the film crews, uh, grips and cameramen, and the television crews, uh, stagehands and cameramen, working the thing with half of them sitting in the basement playing cards while we filmed the uh, honeymooners. And it was very expensive. 
So which union was, was uh, actually doing the work? The television crews were actually doing the work. And the film but people were they working. couldn't take the film out of the camera. The, the film men had to come up and remove the film from the camera. So while the show was being filmed, they had nothing to do? Nothing to do, exactly. Now you said that you uh, uh, sold the idea to Jackie Gleason. Well, uh, how did that come about? How did you know that he would have been, been interested? Well, knowing how Jackie liked to work, uh, he liked television. He didn't like motion pictures. He didn't like the idea of uh, shooting takes, as you would have to do with motion pictures. He wanted to shoot it all from top to bottom and be done with it. And I told him he could do that and end up with 35 millimeter film. He said, you got a deal. And that's what we did. And I made a, a deal with him for, for all the facilities and the film that he would use for $5,000 a show. And he loved it. He thought that was terrific. And we went, used the Adelphi, Adelphi Theater and shot The Honeymooners. The first show we shot on the electronic cam for him, uh, he had a budget for 5000 for us, and I don't know what his talent budget was, his writing budget and everything else. I think the total was $35,000 an episode. And he came in way over that because of the money he spent on writing and everything else. And apparently, um, this really threw him. He was crazy, went crazy. And he called a meeting of everybody who was involved. And uh, I was called by his uh, assistant to come to this meeting. And I couldn't come to the meeting because I had a Dumont Board of Directors meeting at the same time that this was going on. And then the man who represented him from MCA called me and said, Jackie wants you at this meeting. I said, I can't come. We're talking about in this board meeting whether or not we're going to continue the Dumont network. It's very important. So I hung up. A few minutes later, the phone rings. I pick it up and I get, pal, you get your ass over here or there won't be any more electronic cams for the uh, uh, honeymooners. And he hung up the phone. So I said to Dr. Dumont, I got to go to Jackie Gleason's office. He said, I'll be, I'll be back as soon as I can make it. And I left. I went over there. I walked into the room. He had a big rehearsal room in the Park Central Hotel. I walk in, everybody's sitting around the walls on chairs, and he's got a little desk in the one end, and he's sitting there, like, holding his head. And I walk in, and uh, one of his assistants says, Mr. Bergman is here. He looks up, and he said, sit down. I sat down in front of the desk, and he turns to his uh, St his manager, and he's Stanley Poss was his name. He said, what's our problem with Dumont? He said, uh, $250 over the 5,000 deal. He said, turned, looks at me, and he said, what's the $250 for? We had a deal at $5,000. I thought of him, and I said, Jackie, we had to put on an extra stage manager because you don't want to turn your head to a stage manager for cues. You want to be able to look, continue looking in whatever direction you're looking. So we had to have two stage managers. He said, we had a deal for uh, for $5,000. Now he's uh, about 30,000 over budget. He's talking to me about $250. He got me out of a board meeting for $250. I said, if that's the only problem, forget the $250. And I got up and walked out. <laughs> that was Jackie Gleason.